All right. Once um, you've disconnected your G1 from your computer, you're gonna um, open up that app manager thing and um, let it load. Now you're gonna hit menu and you're gonna click on install from sim. I mean install from SD. And you should see this Wi-Fi tether for root users app, the APK file, the backup file right here. So you're gonna click on it and you're gonna click on install. You're gonna click on OK and everything. Just click on OK, go through the install process. Um, once it, I already have it installed, so I'm not gonna click on it, but you are. Um, once it's installed, return to the home menu, and you're gonna open up the Wi-Fi Tether for Root Users app. When you open up for the first time, it's probably gonna come up with like a black screen that says um, if it if um, you wanna allow access for this app, and you're gonna click on always if you see that screen. So the first part. Once you're actually inside the app, you're going to click on Start um, Tethering. It's going to start tethering. And then you're going to click on Menu. And you're going to click on Setup. Well, the first part is if you want to have the Wi-Fi router secured, basically if it's locked or unlocked for other users. I actually like to uncheck this box because you can secured in a different way by enabling access control which basically allows you to choose which users um, can use your G1 as a router um, but if you want to be double safe um, you can check both of these boxes um, and set up a password that you'll use to and to get onto this router um, so I'm just gonna click on this box then you're over here you're gonna um, if you want to change the name of your router you can do that here by changing the SSID um, keep the change channel and change power mode alone client modification mode basically um, wait um, client notification mode lets you um, choose an option so the G1 will send you a notification if anyone starts using your router from a computer. I like to keep it at none, but you can choose your your preferred option for this um, notification ringtone. Would just basically that would you would choose the sound that you would use. Um, and the last two apps are I mean the last two options aren't really important. Um, once you have all the setup complete, um, um, and I would advise to, I would advise to check this box to enable access control. So once you do everything, click on back, click on the back button, and uh, click on menu again and click on access control. So um, just hold tight and let's get back to the computer. Um, alright, so once you've, um, started tethering, basically, um, you're gonna, well, open up your Wi-Fi networks on your computer, and you should see this, depending if you secured it or not, it might have an icon that says it secured, I unsecured it, and I'll tell you why later, well, I already told you why, but you'll see why it's useful actually not to secure it. Um, so I'm gonna connect to it. Um, and I'm connected. Um, so let me actually quickly show you what just happened on the G1 when I um, became connected with the router. So let's go back to the G1. All right. So once you've connected to your G1, you actually see that there's a client on this list and I can actually see that Peter PC which is my computer is connected now since I chose to enable access control like I said you can actually choose what users go on 
get to use the internet connection or not. So uh, the computer is connected, but right now um, the internet isn't being sent to the computer. The information isn't being sent. So when I check this box, the vi the complete internet, the total complete full internet connection is now active. Um, and that's why I actually don't secure the network because there's no point if you're going to use access control, which is more convenient anyway. So um, once you've allowed your PC or Mac to be fully connected with your G1, you're going to click on menu and you're going to click on apply settings. So it remembers to, to always allow your computer to hook up with this router. Um, so I'm hooked up. Um, I'll still have this notification right here of tether being used, but you can actually use the phone like a normal phone while you're tethering. You'll see the icon right here in the corner um, that you're tethering, but you'll, you'll still have the full function of the phone. As you can see, I can use calculator and you'll be use you should be able to use any of the apps. So. Um, go ahead, test out your internet connection. I'm sure that it should work if you've done everything right. Um, and yeah, I hope this really came in handy. And uh, once you would, uh, once you don't want to use the tethering app anymore, you would just. Well, I kind of went away from it, but you'd see you'd still have the notification in there. You'd click on it, and you'd click on the red button that says stop tethering, and that's in you wouldn't have the connection anymore. So that's all for today. I really hope you like this video. Um, please comment, rate, and subscribe. I only have about 35 subscribers right now, so if you subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. And you'd get more and more of these cool G1 videos and other computer tutorials.